Welcome to the Pew. Welcome to the Pew. Now we're going to answer viewers' questions. Because oh, we're getting yes. lots of them. Lots and lots of questions. You people are nosy bitches. Nosy, nosy, nosy. Got to know it. Got to know it. Question number one is... Um, why don't we answer questions on the pew? <laughs> uh, well, we've been doing that. Oh, so question okay. number two so is... The, so the answer to that question is, we do. We do. Pay attention. Okay. Are um, you drunk? On drugs... Okay, so um, question number one is, why haven't I thrown parties or ran clubs in New York City? Don't I want to? Yes. Yes, I want to. Who doesn't want to? Who doesn't want to be the We've been doing that all our lives. It's always so what, 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 we what we do. Um, no, but um, there are a couple of reasons that I haven't. One is because um, I'm not allowed to. I'm on parole, and my parole officer, and I have a, a, a curfew, and my parole officer would um, look askance at me um, strolling into the apartment at 5 o'clock in the morning, um, drunk and high on drugs, even though I could theoretically... What's run the second reason? Run a club drugs. Um, the second reason is because I, I have so many other things I want to do. I want to, you know, I want to paint, I want to write, and I, I want to, you know, I have a list of projects this big, um, re, you know, reality shows, documentaries, all kinds of things that I want to do that take time to get into motion, and um, I couldn't, I couldn't be doing all of those things if I was running a nightclub. I'm going to show that I can do other things. Right. People don't realize that it's really exhausting doing parties, and you really, when you do that, it's really all you can do because mm. you're busy the whole daytime setting it up and organizing it, and then at night you're doing it, and then the next day you're an exhausted mess. Mm -hmm. So, next question: um, What do I think of Peter Gation? Hmm, that's Have you spoken to him recently? I have not. He does not, apparently, he doesn't want to speak to me. Uh, he's not speaking to me or his daughter, Jennifer. Um, you remember the Limelight documentary? Right, which I really didn't think was that bad. No, I mean, not in, It was a very flattering very documentary flattering. to him. I mean, granted, it was made by his daughter, so you wouldn't necessarily expect it to be that critical. My only uh, critique of it was that I thought it was a little too long and it could have used better editing. But uh, overall, I thought it was good. Well, that's your, your critique of the pew. So right, right. Well, is because that your everything is of too everything. <laughs> everything is too long for me. <laughs> okay. Well, um, the thing is that, that Jennifer got a lot of flap from the film industry for making a, a, a glowing portrait of her father that everybody thought was biased toward her father, and then she got it on the other end from Peter who said that it wasn't glowing enough and I got it from Peter saying that it wasn't glowing enough he sent me a lot of things that he wanted me to say on camera that I thought were just ridiculous like he never knew there were any drug activities going on in his club and he would have he would have, <laughs> he would have instantly put a stop to that debauchery had he known that there were people using drugs in his nightclub for heaven's sake <laughs> Oh my God! And so since I didn't say Scandal. that, which I went, I went about you know as close to saying that as I possibly could with a straight face, but since I didn't say exactly that, and we didn't you know absolve him of every piece of guilt that the evidence that the government had uh, con um, had. Uh, accused him of he will know none of which he was convicted of anyway none of which so, he was convicted of and, I mean, I, and who like, does he have to thank for that hmm? so it really doesn't matter what the government says that you did or didn't do I mean, no good deed goes prove, unpunished if it couldn't be proved in court well then you didn't really do it and why couldn't it be improved in court Hmm. Because, because one of they his, had no evidence. Hmm. Because one of his top lieutenants refused to testify against him. Hmm. I wonder who that was. All right. Let's go on to the next uh, item, which is um, what do I think of World of Wonder and the shockumentary? Well, we're just zipping right through them. Why? Zipping right through them. Well, we don't have any more time for that. We don't. No. It's only four minutes. Okay. Go. Well, I want to talk about why we don't have enough time. Because <laughs> everything is too long. It's only 4 minutes and 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 seconds. All right, we'll talk about it. Well, now you got me all nervous. I feel like I have well, to wonder. wonder. What do you think of it? I love them. Love them. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> um, Party monster. What do you okay, think of it? Well, okay, let's do a quicker one. Um, we have we've had been inundated, inundated with um, complaints saying that, in fact, James St. James is not the first, uh, or will not be the first um, guest, guest on the pew. In fact, it was... The so-called honor goes to Scrottle Bear. 
Well, that's not a real person. You realize that, right? Right. Scrotum bear is not a real person. He's a teddy bear. And um, teddy bears do not count as um, special, special guests. Special guests. Nor do house plants. Oh, sex toys. I was going to say this, but this could be our next episode. Decoration. Our next episode, we're going to um, expose all of the sex toys and little gadgets and gifts that people send in, and we encourage you to keep sending them in. <laughs> you know, I'd rather you send money. We'd rather you send money, but we're going to we'll discuss that in the next, <laughs> the next episode. And that, my friends, is all for today's pew. Bye. <laughs>